Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose and you're watching another episode of Action Charlie. In today's episode, we will be attempting to check the inside of this old Lenovo and I have plans to replace the hard disk drive with an SSD drive because this is a very old notebook. It's a Celeron and something. It has just 4 gigabytes of RAM and uh, 5 512 of hard disk drive HDD so I plan to replace this with a plan to replace this with a SSD drive so it should be faster the next time around so this is the SSD drive I bought this in Lazada it's around a thousand three hundred pesos and delivery so this is a 120 this is a 120 gigabyte of SSD so the difference between an SSD and a hard disk drive is the hard disk drive has mechanical uh, parts in it so basically it's like uh, having a phonograph if you have a turntable so it has a disk so it reads constantly when you're inputting and uh, outputting data but this one it doesn't basically it's a motherboard inside so it has memory chips uh, memory chips inside so in case you're interested uh, usually this is the inside of a hard disk drive this is what they look like this is the back and this is the I think this is the front and this is the back or whatever this one came from a much older notebook from a gateway it's a 10 year old and a half notebook uh, it's still usable today because we also replace it with a 120 GB SSD drive. Okay, let's try to open and see what we can do with this one. I'm gonna adjust the camera so you can see me attempting. So this is again, we bought this from Lazada. So these are the tools we're going to use. Uh, FYI, the corner of this uh, laptop is already broken, the plastic. FYI, there's a proper way of uh, removing this. So first things first. So the screw here is still there. But uh, we are not going to touch that. It's just going to remain there. And the laptop. Uh, the, reason why, the reason why I'm doing this is to, of course, share to other non-technical people who may be interested in uh, seeing what's inside of a laptop because I don't usually see the insides of a laptop only on YouTube and uh, the trick here is actually trying to open the lid trying to open the lid of uh, the plastic lid plastic cover and I have ants visiting me again are you living inside my laptop there's no food inside and I hope you're not putting some eggs larvae and larvae in it And the one one tool which is made out of plastic that I'm missing is that's not here is the plastic pick plastic pick where 
you could uh, pry open the sides of the laptop. I'm gonna remove this one. It's already broken anyway. So that's how it looks like. The screw will remain there. The question is how to open it. So we'll replace the zero zero with a three zero. And use it to pry open. Now there, it's a little bit open. So you need to hear that pop. So that's that's. A connector, a plastic connector that uh, there. It's uh, it helps the lid to be there. It is. That's the nicest sound ever. Thank you very much for. If you hear that sound, that's the right sound that you want to hear. I'm trying to pop open there, pop open your laptop. As you can see, this laptop still has. Set aside the screws. This laptop still has. Okay, so we're clear. Need to. Oh, by the way, that the uh, CD ROM here is already broken. So I don't use it anymore. We need to remove this. I need to remove this. Shit. There we go. So remove that. You know why? You know why you need to remove this? Because there's still screws here. I'm gonna put it on closer. So there's the screws, one, two, and three screws that you need to remove. Uh, there, one, two, three. Okay. In order to complete the process of removing, so we're gonna exchange it again with the zero, the double zero screw. Phillips screwdriver Okay, that's a bit stubborn You just probably have to press it and then see what it looks like It's uh, 
has a flat head and a very very short uh, screw I don't know if you can see it small set that aside and then actually if if I'm gonna make it uh, less difficult less next time I just have to screw just one of this so there oh -ho. I'm gonna be opening okay 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 so there it's open I wanna see the the material so this is the material it has some bronze reddish thing into it right? like a paint so, okay. show it to the other camera No, we are not going to open everything. I'm just going to show you what's inside. Okay. So that's what's inside of this uh, in something uh, processor. It's a Celeron and it has uh, just four, four gigabytes of RAM. Also, sorry, microphone there. Interesting, right? They have lots of space still. Uh, the question is can you put another hard disk drive into it? I think so. Maybe. Oh, wait, this is the part of the Ah, uh, okay. Now I know. So that space is for the CD-ROM, the broken CD-ROM that we still have to return afterwards, even if it's no longer usable. So what's the challenge? I think the challenge is this one. There's screw here, there's screw here, and there's screw here and screw there. Okay, this is the hard disk drive that we're talking about that we will replace with the SSD. So this is how it looks like actually. There. Okay. So what will I do? So this is the SSD, I'm sorry this is the hard disk drive, this is what it looks like, I'm not gonna open it yet, I will uh, get my friend, a technician to do that, uh, I might fumble up because there's still data inside by the way, but I already backed it up, okay, just in case, I fouled up, okay. But I don't know what kind of hard disk drive the brand this one is using. I didn't check the the, the soft the software indicators. Okay, so the challenge now is use this, replace this, use this, and replace this. Okay. So there, I just want to sh share to you what's inside of this. Okay, uh, somewhere here is the hard uh, the CPU. You have to open this one to to get it. And uh, on the other side, you could see the other IOs. Uh, this is the power supply. This this is the USB, this is the RJ45 for the LAN card, 
Where does uh, this is the HDMI? Sorry, this is the power plug. This is the HDMI. This is the RJ45 uh, socket or this for the LAN card. And this is the uh, USB port. And this is also a USB port. And what else? Basically, that's it. So that's what's inside of this. Okay. Our next video is actually going to be uh, replacing this and then reinstalling Windows and Office altogether. And hopefully when, it, when you're uh, clicking on the apps, it will be much faster uh, than before. Again, this is Charlie Jose saying thank you for joining me in this video and see you on the next one. Goodbye!